Okay, here we go on some training then on keywords. So essentially, if you're marketing the SEO service and a company says to you, um, right, I'm not sure what, what keywords to choose. All you do is you go to the AdWords, you type in AdWords Keyword Tool. A bit quick there, but you'll see this up here. AdWords Keyword Tool, hit search into Google. As you come down here on the left-hand side, the one that you want really, I think, is this one here. The adwords.google.co.uk select keyword tool external. Okay. And that is going to take us into here. Here we've got keyword tool, and we've got here, um, as we scroll down, Google AdWords keyword tool. Scroll down here, enter one keyword or phrase per line. So, for instance, if we were looking to find out, um, I'm trying to think of a good word now, uh, maybe we're looking to look at things that people search online. For instance, an IFA, uh, a financial advisor, we type in IFA in. I don't know, let's say um, South End. Um, IFA South End. I know this works because we did this one the other day. Um, you then go in, you click in, uh, do the little um, characters here just so that Google knows you're not a robot. FCQAK. Right, okay. And then you hit down here, keyword ideas. Google will tell you it's waiting, and you can see here now that we've got what we call key phrases down the left hand side. Now on the first one, IFA South End, um, Google gives us some information. This is the local search. If I click on the question mark or put my cursor over it, it tells me what the local search is. If I go here to the, the uh, global search, it tells me what that is as well. And you can see these figures. So essentially here, globally, I've got 22 people who are entering this key phrase, IFA South End, which means uh, independent financial advisor at the South End is a place, is a town, into Google each month. So I know that that key phrase there, we'd probably get to page one of Google for that key phrase if we were doing this for an IFA in South End very, very quickly indeed, probably within two, three days. But if I put in, for instance, variances around that keyword, so let's put IFA independent, well, let's actually do it like this. Um, independent, if I spelt that right, uh, finan financial advisor um, UK. Now that is big. There's a lot of independent financial advisors in the UK. I'm sure you'd agree with that. So now it's going to take Google a little bit longer. Now obviously there was no um, detail under there because I've obviously spelt that wrong probably but here look independent financial advisor UK there's 480 searching in the local market each month and 720 worldwide so that key phrase is quite low here we get into the bigger key phrases where we've got here mortgage, mortgage advisor let's get my teeth out there mortgage advisor there's 49,500 people searching per month under that key phrase so for something like Mortgage Advisor, depending on the website competition, and we're going to take that now actually and go back into Google, uh, the term Mortgage Advisor, I'll show you what I mean by competition. So remember IFA in South End we did, now look at Mortgage Advisor. So Mortgage Advisor has got 49, almost 50,000 people searching per month under that key phrase, Mortgage Advisor. That is a key phrase and around about 60,000 searching worldwide under that key phrase. And you'll see as I scroll down, there's loads of different key phrases. And this is where you can start picking your 15 key phrases from for companies that obviously want this service. And then obviously you can think of other key phrases that you can put in here and get variances on key phrases as well. So Mortgage Advisor, you might go for that one because that's a big one and you might go for independent financial advisor UK because that's a smaller one and if you remember the one that we did on the IFA in South End that was 22 if you put that up here you've got 22 480 49,500 well obviously the one that's got 22, the IFA South End, you're going to get to page one of Google very quickly. The one that's got 49,000 here, obviously that's probably going to take a little bit longer than um, four to eight weeks. But it's worth having because eventually that person in that business would um, 
have an additional almost 50,000 people that they can put their business in front of each and every month, which is fantastic. As we scroll down here, you see here's another good independent financial advisors. That's what we call a broad key phrase because it, it's not, if you like, honed down to an area. Independent financial advisor could be anywhere. Now, that's fine if they can do business online or over the telephone. That's brilliant. We could use that one. So we want a mixture of high and low key phrases for example they're independent mortgage advisors for a thousand a month that's not a bad one and then 2400 globally now if we want to sort these and make it easier for us when we're searching all I do is I go up here to the local search and I click on it and then these are put in if you like numerical order so if I was if I wanted to maybe get a page on a Google under key phrase mortgages and access over two million people per month well, I could do that, but it's going to take a little bit longer than eight weeks. This is what you have to advise your clients. Whereas if I came right down the bottom here, and I looked at things, here you go, look, if somebody was looking for a buy-to-let mortgage deal, that's what we call a long-tail key phrase, because it's, you know, three or more words. There's only 1,900 people searching under that key phrase per month, which we've got a good chance then of getting to page one in Google quite quickly, and essentially the client under that one key phrase alone can access almost an additional 2,000 clients per month possibly through their, um, through their website. And again, if we come right down the bottom here, online financial advice, 36, there's a good chance for these ones that very, very quickly we're going to get to the top pages within Google. Online mortgage advice, there's another one, great key phrase for maybe this niche, 880 people searching a month locally, 2,400 worldwide. So again, there's a good chance with these that we'll get to page one quite quickly um, on Google. So that gives you just a basic overview about keyword research. Um, so essentially, you go to the Google AdWords keyword external tool. Um, I will put that link in the description for you. And then we go to independent, oh, there you go, it's up there, look, there. Um, adwords.google.co.uk forward slash select forward slash keyword tool external um, we go to that there and this brings us into this tool here the keyword tool we write our keyword in here whatever it might be for instance it might be oh I was talking to my wife about this today let's say I'm looking around my desk at things calculators there you go calculators or, or. now very interesting I don't know whether it's an ER or an OR, so I'll go calculators, um, and if I click on that, let's see how many people are looking for, there we go, the amount of people who have searched under the key phrase calculator per month, 74,000, so if I sell calculators, I want to access that market, obviously, now here's another one, what have I spelt wrong, there's calculators, spelt differently to mine one, with another 1,300 people per month. Um, and some of these are do look some of these are do mortgages as well, which is good for our other niche there. But just an idea um, on keywords that you might put in. For instance, let's think of something medical, um, blood pressure monitors. I haven't got a clue what this is going to be, but let's put it into Google and see what we get back. So again, if somebody's selling blood pressure monitors and they want key phrases for this SEO service, look there you go. There's 165,000 people per month searching under blood pressure monitor. So that key phrase could be one of their key phrases, but obviously that's not going to get to Google um, very, very onto their website onto the first page very, very quickly. So that might be one you want to include. But if we scroll down the bottom here, what about here? Oh, look, there's a specific brand, Panasonic blood pressure monitor. So if this person also sells Panasonic blood pressure monitors, that keyword will be superb to use because it is branded and it is there very, very easily. Here we go. Look at this cheap blood pressure monitor. So somebody wants a cheap blood pressure monitor, 390 people searching per month under that key phrase, cheap blood pressure monitor and 1300 worldwide so again we'd probably get to the first page of Google very very quickly with that key phrase there so when you're choosing key phrases for companies mix them up between the high the medium maybe and the low because then straight they'll see 